You know, we got nothing. And they keep sniffing around him. We got to get him. Do you think you could you guys be enticed to come back? Do you think another year? As far as I know, this is it. Yeah. yeah as far as I know. I mean, I, unless you heard something. Did you hear something? I didn't. You hear things. <laughs> You hear things. You hear things. Oh, but I, I mean, they'd like anything. to have you guys back. Because it, now it's kind of your decision as a group, right? Because I know you guys think, oh, we'll go here, we'll go there. Um, I think it's, you know, I think the, the, the executives on the show feel that this is probably a good time to end things. Yeah. And it just seems like with all the conversations we've had, boy, I'm like, yeah. out on a limb here. Let's change the subject. All right. All right. <laughs> we've got some audience car questions. Oh, I love this. Okay. These good. are people that are say, how you doing? What kind of car would you choose if you could only have one in your lifetime, and would you take me for a ride in that car? Hmm. You? Would I take you? For who asked well, the well you. I guess they're asking you. What would you ask? Well, would I take who for a ride? A guy or a girl? I don't know. She's. Uh... <laughs> Are you over eighteen? That's more important, really. Yes. Than else. Well, if you only have one car, what would you choose? There you go. Um. I'd say maybe a pickup truck. Practical, right? Practical guy to carry my big dog. Carry around. your dog around? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can get a mini with that dog. <laughs> what is that, Mike? Oh, we gotta take, oh, we got to walk the dog. All right, folks. we got to walk the dog. Ooh. Matt, I want to thank you. Congratulations. We're real excited about your Emmy nomination. Good Friday, man. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Well. Good luck. Be right back with the Mad Chef, John Aston, right after this.